Good. So today I have a treat especial. This is the Pearl Eliminator P2002-2001 BC double pedal kick drum drive. I'm using this for like 15 years now. It's too big to fit in the frame but basically it's like two pedals and one pedal is connected via a rod and drives one puncher and the other one drives the other puncher and this way you can play with both feet alternating or at once if you like but why um, and just using one kick drum or one controller if you play electric so this obviously has the benefits of taking less space than setting up two big drums but it has one problem I'm just assuming that most drummers are right footed so their leading foot, their strong foot is the right one the right foot is connected directly to the beater and therefore is working really easily because basically you just pull down here and it makes the beater Okay, you know how this works, I hope. And your left foot has to work with all the mechanics. So you push down here, the spring is here, the, all the tension has to go through the rod and then it's delivered here and the right one runs much smoother or has less resistance. And this is troubling. <laughs> because the right one is your strong foot as I mentioned and at least in my case and the left foot is the weak one then why do we put an extra burden on the weak foot <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to try to have two individual beaters uh, two individual pedals each with its own beater directly connected to the floor plate and I looked online and saw they were all expensive so if you want to get decent ones and so I thought wait a minute I have all the parts I have two beaters I have two pedals I have two two springs and basically all I have to do is remove this one and transplant this thing to the side and then I have a second pedal so before we start let's start with a quick tour so we are all on the same page I just perform a quick lobotomy so to fit both in the frame this basically is just a rod you can extend it in both directions if you like and you have these joints here that allow you to position it as you like and you have two screws and you have the two screws are needed because the joints up here are come on flattened hope you see that so one screw will engage on the flat piece and the other one will just secure it against so it doesn't slip they are super modular you can swap out these plates to white to different shapes you see something like this and to get different attack angles this is super hard super fast and the other ones are more relaxed and so you give different patterns you can move the joint of the chain you can move the bottom plate for and left you can switch the plate if you want to play on the sticky stuff or here you can remove the stop up here um, what else can you do ah yeah, obviously you can do the same with those you have the screw to tighten it to the bass drum you have the spikes that go into the ground to prevent it from slipping away because you hit it like this and create some force forward facing force and that's also the reason why I'm using this plate here 
to not scratch the desk. Basically all I told you about this one applies to this one as well. You can also adjust the angles of the screw, uh, of the, the tension of the spring. You can also adjust the tension of the spring, obviously you can do this with everything, with every kick pedal. You can adjust the height of the beater, you can um, choose different sides of the beater. You have two different shaped plastic beaters and two cotton, cotton beaters, I think. So I opted for these, but I played them quite a bit. And they also came with these little weights, so you can put them here and slide them up and down, depending on your taste. I hope the camera angle is okay. I had to position the camera differently than the other videos to get everything in place. I think the only two big differences between those two pedals are for once the locking mechanism is straight on this one where it is like L-shaped on this one and it's also dusty, although I cleaned it half a year ago. You have this fork here to give mounting point for the second beater, right? So that is, yeah, and you have a second mounting point for the spring. Obviously, you don't need this here, but you, they provided us with the mounting point for the spring here, so why not? So why shouldn't it work? We will find out. Uh, it also came with a few Allen keys, so we should be able to do this transplantation with the tools they provided in the set. Okay, let's destroy it first and then put it back together. Untighten the spring. Now I can remove the spring at all. Actually I do have to remove it anyway, but it's a lot easier to remove it without the tension. Two washers on the bottom and the one on the top. And I think it's basically the same as this one. Yes. One. Yeah, I had a good look at it before I started filming. So I may have a little head start here. And the head start is gone. <laughs> There's another screw which is also tight. Ah, now it comes apart. In here we just have two ball bearings and a spacer, which is actually quite dirty. So we'll just put it back in there. And we have the first single pedal. Okay, to the second one. This doesn't look that beefy, does it? But it has a metal plate as well. That's really, really nice for stability. Oh, that was easy. And the second one. Okay. And this thing is round. And then it's getting square here. Okay, it's always just a matter of see a screw and remove a screw to get to the end. And the only screw I see right now is this one because I don't. Okay, or just use the tappy tap force. This and that. Good thing the laptop wasn't positioned there, right? <laughs> yeah. I think that was the hardest part. So let's put it back together. Like so. When trying to release this, I wanted to put pressure on the rod 
to push it out and we see the grease actually helps a lot <laughs> um, but when pushing it in we don't want to put the pressure here we want to put it on the bearing and therefore you need something hollow that fits over the bearing uh, over the rod and just applies the force to the bearing and therefore never throw anything away just continue with this one <laughs> see if it works I think you guys don't see anything let's do it like this the problem you see this has a little marker here and it tells me where it um, should engage and <laughs> huh? so but it's a learning experience This, I think, right? This should work better. See, boop, boop. Yep, that's much better. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. And let's see if this is better now. Much better. That's like this. And now the last thing to do is to position this right, screw the screw and have two single beaters. It's a much closer fit now, isn't it? And I'm very pleased I have two single pedals made out of my dual pedal. Nice, very nice. Last thing to do <laughs> is uh, to get a second bass drum or a second controller. I hope you liked it and learned something. I learned that I have to clean my stuff before I do something like this again <laughs> next time. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching.